So over here, you can see that I have added in some hair to our character. So now let's see how it behaves once I turn my webcam. So if I were to turn my webcam right here and set the rest pose, you can see that it does not move. It's this stiff right here. So in order to make it more dynamic, what I can do is I can simply add in dangle handles onto them. And for that, I'm going to go to the rig section right here and zoom in onto the hair. So what I'm going to do is make all of these individual hair uh, independent. And then I get this right here, the origin. I'm just going to keep that on the tip right here. That one over here, this one over here, and then this one over here. So now what I want to do is I want to select this icon right here. That's the dangle tool. And I want to keep uh, one dangle tool right over here on this layer and one over here and one over here. I'm choosing the tips just like this. So now once I go to record, you can see that the hair moved a bit right over here. And once I enable the webcam just like this, you can see that as I move my head, head the hair actually dangles around. You can go over here and choose the uh, you can choose the character and then you can go to physics right here and here's the dangle settings. So you can increase the squashiness of the hair right here. You can see that it is more squash or more stiff right here. You can bring it down as you can see more squashy. You can increase out the softness right here so you can see that it dangles more as I do that. I can decrease this out to even very very soft things right here or I can increase it out to be more stiff. So I can go around and depending on the level of stiffness I want, I can change around the value just like this, as you can see. I can also work around with the damping right here, just like that, to change around the behavior. So you can just choose around this and uh, get the settings that you want. So you got more dynamic effect as you can see. So as I move my head, you can see that I don't need to animate the hair. It just animates it by itself, just like that. And that is how you can use the dangle behavior uh, and with the dangle tool inside of character animator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.